Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to review the new content for March 16th in LK Ultimate Team. We got a few new uh, NHL moments as well as uh, some prime times that are actually pretty sick. So we'll take a look at those. Not a huge date for content, but nonetheless, we got to review it, see if there's any values in the mix. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please give the video a like if you did enjoy it. Closing in on 25,000 subscribers, so it would mean a ton if you were to subscribe. All right, guys, let's get into the content. All right, we'll start things off with the NHL moments, guys. They released it was the 85 Pekka Rene, six foot five, huge goaltender, was the GOAT in Hockey Ultimate Team for five or six years. Now, uh, just kind of passed over. Two to Heart and Soul, two to Spark, not a synergy combo that you're uh, uh, extremely hurting for, probably. And he is hit with the stat caps for being an absolute tree. At six foot five, so uh, while uh, Pekka Rene was a god in this game for a better part of a decade, uh, you burned me with your Christmas card, man. So that is a that is a no go, my dude. So it's a pass on the Pekka Rene. All right, then my boy Tomas Hurdle, the eighty nine overall, and his icon art is great. It is one of the best moments as a Sharks fan that I have personally. I remember where I was uh, when I saw his between the legs retiring of Marty Baron. Uh, and Swarm and Wingman, decent synergy combo on this card specifically. With Distributor, can get to 90 speed. And again, he kind of fits the mold of that bigger type of player. Like, I've always found that Hurdle cards, they're never fast and never good skaters, but they can always hold on to the puck quite well. Um, much like, you know, um, not to the same effect as Mantha, but the same kind of thing. Uh, just much smaller, obviously. But uh, yeah, if you are someone that is able to control the puck really well down low, that kind of stuff, with Wingman activated, that's a good the synergy hole. Or, uh, Wingman's hard to activate, but a really, really good one uh, for a lot of top-end cards. I'm thinking like Philip Myers, for example. Uh, but yeah, not a bad card at all. I'm curious to see what he's going for in the auction house, as I'm probably going to get him on my free-to-play team. 175 is a little rich for my blood. Wait till he falls to about 150, as he should, um, and uh, then pull the trigger, in my opinion. On to the prime times, guys. We got the 90 Tower to Foley, who is having a season uh, with Light the Lamp and Gladiator. Um, th again, this is a good shooting card. It's just, it's very tough to use a really good shooter that's under, you know, six foot two, um, you know, because you don't take advantage of his size. So he's only six foot and he's got 85 body checking and he has no skating sins. So even with team based synergies, you can get to 91 acceleration, 89 speed, which isn't bad by any, uh, any stretch of the imagination. It, it, honestly, though, it would depend what he's going for in the auction house. We'll take a peek. Uh, his shot is nice, but yeah, there's not, uh, wait, did I check that right? Yeah, there's none up right now. Um, uh, not really super interested in the tire to fully. Trying to find some more value down with the lower pro, uh, with the lower um, prime times. We got the six foot one Ivan Provorov, the eighty seven overall with speed through gets him to eighty nine speed before distributor and gladiator, which again I think is a really good synergy for this card specifically. If you can get Spark on your team uh, early on, if say if you've got a base card team or you've just got that base squad to get distributor and Spark, that gets him to ninety acceleration. Distributor gets him up to ninety two speed, and then he's got a ninety two overall slap shot power with gladiator on. That's a fine card. Like this is a really nice sneaky buy that you can get and it shouldn't cost you very much we'll take a look at what he's going for in the auction house there's one up right now 70k that's not a terrible price um if more get pulled tomorrow uh maybe um not a bad card man i i kind of like this one if you get the synergies activated next up we got the 94 artemi panarin which does increase the team of the year one obviously with passing playmaker which is completely used literally useless on this card and Wingman, which does help a little bit because it gets his acceleration uh, into a range where you can hit 99. Um, and uh, then obviously with Distributor, Speedster gets it to 96. Honestly, I would hard pass this 94 Panarin unless he really drops in price because, again, his synergies are player-based and they don't help him at all. Like, uh, 400... There's just there's no way that I would recommend that I would want this card for that kind of price. Just wait and see. Like you could get the the blockbuster Kessel, who in my opinion is a little bit better, um, for you know roughly a little bit a little bit uh, a little bit more expensive. But yeah, like not that this isn't an unbelievable card. It's just like he doesn't help out enough with the team aspect, and you know that those are the kind of people that would be in the price and market to actually be able to afford this card. Then lastly, we've got the '96 Sidney Crosby, five foot eleven, two hundred, with heart and soul. And Magician, obviously Heart and Soul one you're not really 
Um, super stoked about Magician. Does nothing for this card again. So rough synergy choices on these cards. But nonetheless, this is an elite centerman card. Anyone with this high of face-off rating is fantastic. And his shot is almost perfect. Combine that with the fact that his speed can get up to 94. Acceleration to 97. Hand stats are max. Body checking is 91. This is an elite centerman card. Um, and we'll, we'll take a look at what he's going for. It's going to be pricey. Yeah, a mil. He should fall under a mil because his 94 and 93 are still available. Like, comparing him to his 93, you know, it's still... I mean, his shot, that 96 shot is really good. It's Thief, but Thief and, and Barrage activated, you know, to kind of take care of that. But still, the 96, an incredible card. I wouldn't spend a mil on it, though. Prime times always fall in price eventually. Um, just just got to wait a little bit longer. But that's an endgame card, to be honest with you, that 96 Crosby. Last thing I want to talk about, guys, I want to make sure you're aware the two icon collectible for a much cheaper price is back in the NHL Moments sets. Uh, so everyone, anyone new to the game that hasn't noticed this set before, uh, about once a month they make a reduced price um to for for gold players into collectibles this one's an icon collectible trade-in so 75 gold players gets you two whereas you know usually it costs 100 definitely take advantage of this i think you can do this two times um but definitely take advantage of it. it's going to help you be able to get mario lemieux gretzky all that there's there's enough icons out there that this is definitely worth it i would not uh, a lot of people have kind of been like hey should i do this and then turn them into gold collectibles you can, but you're only saving 15 players. Um, you know, well, it still might be helpful, especially if you're trying to really rush to get uh, to get McDavid. It might not be bad, but I wouldn't recommend it. You're just uh, you're only saving 15 gold players, and um, you know you're just kind of you're kind of wasting that that value you're getting in this set specifically. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the content today. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and don't forget to like the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one, boys.